Hey guys, how are you guys doing today? So, we are on the third chapter of Chiba's career mode, guys. So, first of all, guys, Angulo got to finally change of position. We had him as a left mid at the start. He now has a cam. He is now a cam. So, we're going to change his uh, style. I was looking here. What would be the best thing to boost on him? Um, and I think I went with the uh, balance where he had a little bit more of shooting uh, because I think that's what I like most of my cams to be good at passing, uh, be good at shooting, uh, to score those goals. Um, and that's just something I look at. Um, uh, I look at a, a lot. Uh, so right here, guys, Chivas has this stadium. Um, they finally changed on this FIFA. I think they had one that looked like Stadio Jalisco before, but now they change it to this one. Um, and here, Angulo gets this cross here. Gomez managed to score that one for um, Tijuana there. Uh, and then, guys, Angulo here with a pass to Macias. Uh, we try to do this uh, cat back here. Uh, Macias gets pushed, but Angulo is there, but he misses. He misses that shot. Uh, Salcido couldn't believe it there. Uh, but very nice shot there by Angulo. It does not end up going inside the net, though. So uh, kind of sad there, but... Uh, you know what? It was minute 76. We decided to bring in Vega for Angulo. Angulo had a good game, but I think Vega could do a little bit for us here. Uh, so we decided to bring him in. Uh, but it was we didn't have time enough to come back, guys, or equalize the game. So we ended up losing the game. And then here, guys, uh, Ponce was telling us that uh, he was looking for options. So we put him on a loan uh, just to put him there because I don't know what I should sell him. So we put him on the loan. I don't think we ended up loaning him, uh, but we did that. So, uh, yeah, he was happy about that. He wanted to get some game on um, game time. Um, one of the players they also they always try to get is Brizuela. So we're going to go ahead and reject the offer um, just because I don't think three million for Brizuela would be a good price. And. We could have sold them, but I think Brizola is like important player for Chivas here. And once again, guys, my defending needs to improve. Right there, uh, Furch managed to score that goal very easy. Right here, guys, we get a opportunity. Uh, they made a mistake there. Angulo shoots, but then he gets the rebound of his first shot on him and he managed to equalize the game 1-1 one, one, and that was Angulo there um, and forgive me if I'm wrong isn't that Bofo um, celebration uh, when he does that celebration that he even points like that I think he did that in one game um, if I'm not mistaken um, so here guys we managed to score the second goal at the 48 minute with Macias pretty nice um player you know um today i tried my cs on squad battles i put a hunter car on him uh he his finishing is is bad on on like on squad battles he plays very good like he moves around the uh the the pitch very good on, on ultimate team but his finishing is not not great man if he gets an inform i think he could be a player uh, that might use a lot on ultimate team squad battle so uh that's what i noticed of him today although i did make profit on him because i sold him for a couple of coins because i put the hunter card on somebody was looking for a for a macias with a hunter card and i sold them for a couple uh i think it was 2.5k so it was a little bit of coins that we got from that so happy about that but macias in career mode guys he gets boosted his stats because he's been playing great uh minute 77 he uh, scores his fifth goal of the league i believe um and he he managed to uh score that three two uh right here guys minute uh, 90 we bring in Huerta he wasn't gonna get enough time right here right away uh, the the whistle blows and the game is gonna come to an end so we actually took the win here um, one of the things here guys that I'm been thinking I might just start by doing um, 
one interview on like the conference and one after a game because uh, they're the same they didn't do any changes and now guys the training it, it's useless because the training the only thing they improve if it's your fitness like there's no point of you actually playing the trainings anymore so just simulate them guys because the only thing you're gonna get is fitness sharpness and i can't i forgot what's the other thing but they don't improve your stats no more guys uh the player development it's what improves your stats in this fifa uh, which I think it's cool because I don't think a lot of people played. Um, a, a lot. I don't think a lot of people played the trainings. They mostly everybody simulated them. So I think it's a good a good step right here, guys. Beltran, which we still are playing him as a center defensive mid as a CM, and he ended up losing uh, points. So he managed to score that. I think when we get him uh, the position change development. Uh, which I think for him is 21 weeks to adjust to the center defensive mid position. So, yeah, hopefully when he when those 21 weeks come and we can change him to a CDM, he's going to be playing a lot better for us, guys. So right there, he does uh, scores at the 10 minute first goal in La Liga Apertura here with us, guys. So we managed to pick up the goal with... Uh, Beltran first goal and Juarez was here guys uh, something I noticed here playing with Juarez Marco Fabian is on this team and something I already knew but kind of interesting that I didn't saw his game face so I'm guessing they didn't add it into the game because he used to have one because he was um, playing on the Saudi league so maybe uh, they decided to take it out because uh, they thought that he wasn't gonna be playing ever again um, in a in like in a league where um fifa was you know a, a league that where a league that fifa has um license right so i don't know what's the deal there uh but we managed to pick up that goal with angulo as you guys see but yeah kind of kind of sad uh marco fabian does not have a game face uh, i don't know we could probably look for us for a signing of him in the next season uh of this uh transfer window but it is kind of sad right there, guys. You guys seen the replay of Angulo getting that goal, guys. So pretty nice. Angulo gets his sixth goal, guys. Like I said, I think the best thing uh, we have done in this uh, in this episode and this career mode is making the decision of changing Angulo to a camp from a left mid. Because we already had Antuna. We already had a couple good left mids. Right here, my defense is, needs works, guys. Um, right there, you guys can see uh, Lescano, I think, was here who managed to uh, score that goal with um, Juarez. At the 76th minute, we bring in trophies. It's something I've been doing a lot, tr uh, switching between Angulo and Chofis because I want both of them to raise their rating so something I've been doing uh, just to get them uh, to go up on the rating right here guys Chofis against with the shot across the uh, the goal and he managed to score that guys a very nice goal by Chofis there which um, I think this weekend was it this weekend I think it was this week. I'm not sure. He he played a uh, game with the uh, with the uh, younger players. Um, you know, with the second division of Chivas, you could say, um, where he managed to score a very nice goal um, from the from the midfield. So uh, it was an amazing goal. It kind of remind me of um, I don't know if you guys ever saw the goal from Car. Um, what's it? Hector Reynoso. Yeah, Hector Reynoso goal from uh, when he scored in America from almost the middle of the field uh, to, I think he did it to Ochoa, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, so right here, we got a couple messages from Macias and also for Gudinho. Uh, Gudinho morale looks like it's going a little bit down, so we were going to choose a answer here that uh, would give him a, whoa, I actually went down. Uh, but we here sent a message uh, to Macias. He was a very happy morale. Uh, so he, he's a very crucial player for us. So we're just going to send them. I uh, need you to stay fit. So he's happy. Uh, he's asking us why we take him out. We just want to give Huerta a chance. Huerta wasn't alone for us. Um, 
on Mazatlan and he has a potential I think above 80 so we also want to have him on our team and maybe we could sell him uh, so yeah guys that, that's one of the reasons uh, we we brought Huerta back right here guys we tried to bring in Orbelin Pineda we tried to bring in Orbelin Pineda um, we tried to give uh, I think uh, Dieter uh, Villalpando here as a trade uh, for uh, the player uh, they did not accept that I think it was a decent uh, swap but they wanted 13.5 million 13.5 million for um for Orbelin Pineda, I think that was just a lot. So I don't even think we had that much uh, money in the club. We had a budget of five million. They wanted it way too much. Um, so yeah, we ended up closing that deal. Then we tried to bring in Victor Guzman, guys, because apparently Chivas is gonna try it and sign this player again. So I uh, would try and, and also bring him here on the career mode. Uh, there is the rumor, guys, that um, Victor Guzman could be coming uh, to join Chivas. And then Chofis apparently would leave uh, the team. So we'll have to wait and see if those rumors are true. But it looks like it's it's what apparently is going to happen. Uh, we got a offer for, uh, for Rodriguez to Rosario. Uh, from Argentina I think we should have accepted this um, because I think he's not gonna get a lot of game time with me and he's gonna get a not good morale so we might put him on a loan list um, just to try and get him to have be playing because he is a uh, like a good crucial player for our team as well but we have right now Godinho which is playing very good uh, so yeah guys so we are here on a press conference we were playing against tigres guys so tigres a team that it's uh, we always have trouble uh, beating them on fifa i don't know why but we always do so here here's the same questions every time so i don't know like i said um i want to show on one episode per like one press conference um per probably episode because they're the same thing they almost ask you the same thing something you guys know i wouldn't mind if they would um actually do voice like when you create your manager if they will allow you to you know like uh i don't know what game was this but i remember some games that you create your character and they ask you select a voice right select a voice and your character is gonna speak like that voice that's something i will like in fifa um especially because they already have they have they have you choose what your character is gonna say what your manager is gonna say they could have anyone record those lines um they're always the same thing right so yeah i wish i wish they would do that i think would be very great right here guys vega um does that great pass to quinones Quino quinones makes the goal uh, f uh for uh tigres to equalize the game one one so we are already tying the game peralta came in at the second half as a sub we're looking for someone to do the run guys and here it is we see it um, and I think it's trophies uh, to the first post it just overpowers still on this FIFA a lot of people say it's not but I think it still works and there it is trophies comes in as a sub as well for Angulo and he managed to pick up that goal there um, we had a way there for uh, for him to do the run but look at that shot guys very nice shot there by uh, trophies to uh, scored that goal so pretty pretty nice uh, so we were winning the game already 2-1 so hopefully we could pick up this win against Tigres uh, it would be a big win for us because I think we're right now like on the 9 to 8 place on the table and we need that 8 place to go to playoffs start thinking of going to playoffs right here guys try to defend Carioca takes that shot and 
Gudinho there saving saving Chivas there very nice then we got this opportunity uh, they defend real well and the game ends here and we managed to pick up the win to one uh, so they were asking us here guys for Madueña we play him played him here for uh, Sanchez because Sanchez was a little bit tired because the other game was in a uh, weekend I believe during the week yeah, it was during the week here. Uh, so we were checking a Beltran, Beltran's, um, you know, game uh, game plan here, guys. Um, and we had him on the... We have 13 weeks left for him to become a center defensive mid. Um, and his rating could go up. We already have very good stats on him. So it's something that it's going to improve, guys. So, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of the Chivas Career Mode, guys. And I will have a playlist on my channel, guys. So all the episodes will be there. So thanks, thank you so much for watching, guys. And I'll see you guys next time. Adios.